Hi, my name is Mark Turner. I'm the Fleet Service Director with Offshore Sailing School. We're here in Southwest Florida at the beautiful South Seas Island Resort. What I'd like to talk to you about today is one of the most common problems we have with diesel engines on our sailboats, and that is overheating. Reason being, we are dealing in part with water from outside the boat, which we have very little control as to it being contaminant free. These contaminants come in a number of forms, some even quite lively, but most in the shape of seagrass or seaweed. At the outset, check that the composite parts of the raw water system are able to perform their duties. Is the raw water intake valve open? Is the raw water filter clear? Do we have a healthy flow of water out of the exhaust when we start the engine? If the answer to these three checks are all yes, then we have no initial cause for concern. When monitoring the vitals of a diesel engine while it's running, one of the most important things to consider is temperature. If you have a gauge, keep an eye on it from time to time to make sure it's within normal working parameters. Some helm stations don't have a temperature gauge, but do have warning lights and buzzers. If you notice the engine temperature is starting to rise, the first consideration should be, is there still good water flow out of the exhaust? If yes, there may be a problem with the fresh water portion of the system. This may be a little harder to diagnose, but is often very evident when you inspect the engine. If no, or you feel the exhaust is a little more throaty sounding, then it's probably time to check the raw water system. Check the filter first. Although a quick look to make sure the intake hasn't been clogged won't hurt. If the filter looks clear, don't be lulled into a sense of false security. You need to make sure there's good flow from the intake to the filter. Blockages are common in that hose, particularly if there's an elbow in line. One simple check is to close the intake valve, open the filter, then quickly open the intake valve and check for good water flow at the filter. If you don't see good water flow, work back through the system to find the blockage. This will involve disconnecting hoses to make sure there's flow. Start at the intake, then move forwards. Common culprits will be the intake itself, and some larger weeds can be cleared with the creative use of an air horn. If everything seems clear, there could also be a blockage at the point of entry at the filter. If everything seems clear to the filter, it's time to look upstream. Check the impeller. Watch out, as a broken impeller is often a symptom, not a cause. If you have to replace the impeller, then check everything is clear downstream before restarting the engine. If you can't piece together the impeller, then you need to find the bits. This starts to get more complicated, but a shop vac will help to suck out any missing pieces. If after all those checks, you're still having problems with the water flow, it's probably time to call someone like myself who has a little bit more expertise. 